today we're going to talk about how we can foster trust. So in another video I did recently, I talked about why it's really difficult for you to trust other people. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without any solutions for how to fix this, so here we are. All right, so let's face it, taking a chance on yourself for life can be really scary. And sometimes all the preparation in the world isn't enough for the curveballs that might head your way. So this is why having trust that things will work out for your best and your highest good is really important. And it's also why it's imperative that you learn to trust yourself and also to acknowledge your intuition as a guidance system. Now, here's some things that you can do to get the same confidence and strength in your inner world as you project into your outer one. Now, the first piece of advice I'm going to give you is just jump. Just do it. Sometimes the only way to really know anything for sure is to take a leap of faith and just go for it. Now, this is difficult for many of us, me included, because not everyone is really a risk taker. So if you're someone who's more cautious or likes to plan for every contingency, like me, before making a move, um, you're going to end up letting a lot of good opportunities just pass you by. So what jumping does is it requires you to believe in yourself and trust the process. Now, moving on to the second thing, we have to be open to receiving, have to, have to. When we are attached to the way that something will arrive, it will prevent what we need from actually showing up. It doesn't really matter how the $200 you need for groceries finds its way to you. Honestly, it doesn't. It's only important that the food gets there. So it might be donated, gifted, refunded, shared, grown, or even earned through alternative ways. So don't let the limitations of your mind limit your ability to receive simply because it doesn't show up the way that um, you dictate that it needs to. So open yourself to the possibility of different options. All right, number three, gratitude. Life has its ups and downs, and that's why um, focusing on what we have going for us helps us see the positive in life. It also allows us to believe that good can happen which may ultimately give us the courage to trust ourselves and to try something new. Now, this is really interesting. Scientifically speaking, it takes three positive thoughts or experiences to offset one negative one. So keeping your mind focused on what's going right will allow you to take more of the worthwhile opportunities that come your way. All right, number four, let go. When you jump into a new situation, you must do so without any weight holding you back. So when we try to, too hard to hang on to things that aren't working for us, it puts resistance on the free fall. So in order to move into new situations, what we need to do is we need to really give ourselves permission to release anything that may hinder our process, hold us back, or allow us to become stuck. So the important message here is don't hang on to things that are no longer serving you simply for the sake of holding on to them. Trust that if something is being moved out of your way, it's because it's not supposed to be there anymore. And it doesn't matter how much time or how much history you have invested in it. I think that's where a lot of us get stuck. Number five is acceptance. That, so having trust also means learning to practice acceptance. You have to really trust that whatever situation you jump into will provide the outcome you need, whether or not you like what that outcome actually is. Now, with that being said, if you will be put in a terrible or distressing position, please, please take that into consideration before making a move. You do not have to accept that as part of the risk. So instead, maybe try making smaller moves and then work your way up from there once the foundation, the foundation feels solid. Now, in talking to people over the decades, I've discovered something really interesting. Now, no matter how bad uh, something went for them, right, something good appeared as a result of the loss. Now, that doesn't make the loss any less painful or terrible for you, and of course it should be processed accordingly, but it does change how you move through the world around you, and that alone has the power to put you in places that actually might be more in alignment with who you are than you previously realized. Now, avoiding life to keep yourself safe or prevent bad things from happening only ensures that you will exist instead of experience. So don't hold yourself back from the possibilities of joy, fulfillment, and accomplishment because you've already decided that you'll fail. You know, if you do this, you're operating on emotions and not facts because the truth is you don't know what's going to happen yet. So I hope all of this information has been helpful for you today and it really inspires you to change the way you're doing things. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay beautiful.